you ever wanted to read the Bible, but you keep putting it off because you have no idea where to start? Well, in this video, we are going to be helping you figure out the best place to begin so that you can start reading God's Word today. What's up, everybody? This is Ronnie. And Mel. And on this channel, we give you weekly tools and inspiration to help you find God and walk with Him in your daily life. So if that's something you need, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Also, we have a free gift for you that will help you as you start diving into the Bible, so make sure you don't miss it. So if you're new to the Bible, it can be really intimidated to get started, especially because the Bible's so big. So let me say this, the Bible is not just one book, it's a library of books. There are 66 different books within the Bible. So if that is the case, what book do you start with? Well, today we are going to be breaking down two different approaches to reading the Bible and give you the pros and cons of each so you can choose which one's best for you. Option number one, you guessed it, start from the beginning. So this is actually the approach that I used when I first started reading the Bible. I started reading right in the beginning of the Old Testament and I went all the way through. I would definitely say that this is a little bit of a harder way to do it, but it also makes the most sense. The Bible is actually a huge story. It's God's story. It begins in Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, and it builds on itself all the way to the last book, which is the book of Revelation. So when you start reading the Bible from the beginning, you get the entire storyline. Whereas if you start in the New Testament, which is about two thirds of the way through, you're just gonna miss some of that backstory, so some things may not make a lot of sense to you. One thing about this option is that the Old Testament could be a little bit harder to understand for some people coming from our modern day culture. Some books, especially the ones in the beginning of the Bible, could be a little bit harder to relate to your own personal life, which sometimes causes us to give up. So if you are someone who likes things really systematic and you think you could still just plow through some hard stuff, this still could be a good option for you. But because we don't want you to get discouraged right when you're starting out, there is another option. Option number two, start in the Gospels. When I got my first Bible, I was told to start with the book of Matthew, which is the first book of the New Testament, and to read straight on through to the end. So that's what I did. The book of Matthew is the first Gospel. It teaches us about the life of Jesus. I started there and read straight to the end of the Bible. And I did this over and over, Matthew to Revelation, Matthew to Revelation. Once I was familiar with the New Testament, I went back to Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, and I began to work my way through the Old Testament. One thing that's great about this approach is that you really get to familiarize yourself with the man Jesus. And he's the one that the entire Bible from the beginning to the end is pointing to anyway. It wasn't until I started reading the Gospels over and over again that I really got connected to the story. It's much easier to take things from the New Testament and apply it to your life. And as you do that, you begin to experience and see and feel the power of the Gospel. And yes, there may be some points that you missed because you didn't read the Old Testament yet, but you can always read it later and then by then you'll probably be able to recognize Jesus better in it. So this is actually our favorite way to start to read the Bible. Start with the Gospels, read about Jesus, then move on to read the rest of the New Testament that speaks to the churches. Once you're familiar with that, go back to Genesis and work your way through the Old Testament. And as an add-on, one thing that I do before I read the Bible every day is I read a psalm. The psalms are a collection of songs and they make up a whole book of the Bible. A lot of people find it helpful to either start with a psalm or a proverb because they're super short and really easy to understand. So there is no perfect way to read the Bible, but we hope that these options help you figure out the best way that works for you. And if you want help actually figuring out how to read the Bible once you know where to start, we actually have a video on that. So you can find that linked in the description below. And if you're new to this journey, we actually have a Bible for Beginners guide that we wanna to send to you to help you navigate these initial steps. All you gotta do is click the link below in the description and we'll send it to you for free. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you think it might help someone you know, make sure to share it because you never know the difference that you can make in somebody else's life. So we want to hear from you guys. So be sure to comment below and let us know. Have you ever read the Bible? If so, where did you start? And if not, which option do you plan to use? So we hope this helps you in your journey to find God and walk with him. And we will see you next time.